Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So today I'm sharing with you a Celine Underworld kit that I just finished up. Now, I did one of these uh, back in the day for myself. And then uh, what happened was uh, one of those times in uh, where I had to kind of sell off some of my collections. Plus, a client that I've worked for in the past asked me about it and he wanted to pick it up from me. So I sold it off. And then uh, back when I was able to pick up a couple of things, I was able to get another kit. And it was just sitting in my closet for a while, well, at least on my shelf. And I wanted to make another one for myself, but uh, it's just one of these projects where it's kind of got to the point where I need to start clearing out a lot of my broken stuff and collection stuff that customs I've always wanted to do to sell off. So I added this into the mix. So I uh, just been, you know, doing some Aves work here and there little by little. Whenever I had extra, uh, I would put the pieces together and get it ready for paint. And then it got to the point finally when I was ready to just start painting it up. So whenever I did a statue that had uh, flesh tones, I would add this into the mix. And anytime I had to do some like black paint ups, I would add this into the mix as well. So it got to the point where the other day I just needed to kind of finish her up. So I did some detailing work, finished up the base, and now she's ready to go. So uh, I'm not sure if I did a video on this. I think I did, but if I didn't, uh, I forgot who did this uh, statue. Um, but I really liked it a lot. She's really tall. Uh, let's get the paint measure, give you guys an idea. She's, you know, she stands about, uh, with the base, because I had to create the base. She doesn't come with it. She stands about 20, uh, 20 to 21 inches, somewhere around there, uh, with this base. Uh, and, uh, really cool statue. It's, uh, you know, you don't get many, like, museum poses of Celine out there. There's a couple of them, but they're really big. Uh, one thing that I did do with this statue is I did a little custom work on it. I added her uh, little zipper up here because this statue only had like a little bit of a line. So I added this whole zipper with the wideness on there. And then uh, I also added some details in her crotch. I know uh, it sounds uh, kinky and everything, but what it was is it looked like there was just a football sculpted here. So I added the wrinkle marks there just to kind of stretch it out a little more. And then I put that little line going there. Uh, she didn't have all that on the original one, so I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of my own little touch on this. But other than that, it's really straightforward. I really love the head sculpt. It's really good. Uh, really looks like her a lot. Uh, I had a little bit of fun painting this one. Uh, I think the last one I did, I did more of like a vampire look on her, but this one I gave a little bit more flesh. I was looking at some specific artwork on her. I really tried to gloss up her uh, main outfit mostly. The boots and everything are just, uh, you know, a nice... Uh, kind of a flatter type black um i didn't really detail any of like her uh buckles or anything because if i look at the artwork and stuff on her uh you know she really doesn't have a lot of like metal buckles and even on the thing it's pretty much all one simple color so that's what i ran with and then the the jacket's just kind of a kind of like a texturized paint i was kind of like speckling a lot and then i gloss coated it and i flattened it and i did some other stuff to it just to try to give it like a leather look Pretty straightforward. A little bit harder kit to put together though because she is cut off right underneath the corset, but then the back of the cape is cut off too. So you got to kind of try to figure out, you got to paint it all underneath and back and then start attaching stuff and then keep painting. It's kind of a little difficult. Uh, this gun hand come uh, is attached uh, separately, but this was cut off here. So you have to attach this. So it's kind of a little complex in some areas, but really not that much. Uh, but a really great kit. I like it a lot. She's a really great, uh, really great sculptor. Like I said, I forgot who did this. I can't really remember who did it. I think the head, though, was sculpted by Troy McDivitt, but I, I'm not really sure. Maybe somebody who knows this kit a little bit more can chime on. Uh, now the base I created myself. It's just a simple little generic base. I threw some, you know, rocks in there with some cracks. I didn't really try to focus on the base too much. I was going to do just pure black, but I figure, you know, black outfit, black everything, and then just a black base is kind of, uh, but really great sculpt. They did a really great job on that corset there. Uh, really, really good job on the boots and everything. So they did a great job with the kit. Um, the guns are pretty cool too. Tried to follow the guns. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, just simple kit. Like uh, Underworld, because I do like Celine Underworld, really great, uh, you know, not really a fan of the whole, uh, you know, werewolf stuff. But the vampire stuff's pretty cool. 
And that's just it. Really simple kit. Comes in a few pieces. Nothing major. Uh, I forgot how much it ran. Just I picked this up years ago. I would say probably around. I don't know it's what is it? Uh, 2017 now, January, and I got this kit probably 2014 maybe somewhere around there. So that's pretty much it. So this is my kit uh, that I customized a little bit extra with just the zipper and the uh, sprinkles in the crotch area, and uh, that was pretty much about it. So uh, hopefully you like the way she came out. Really great kit. I don't know if she's available anymore. I doubt it. But I'll probably put this on my site for sale let it go because I just got to start clearing out some more stuff. Too much damage stuff, got to let it go. But hopefully you like the way she came out. Thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos.